This is a Weber IDA carburetor for a Porsche 911. And I am fixing the um, hidden passageways, cleaning the hidden passageways in the main circuit that sometimes cause backfiring through the inlet. So what you need to do is take out plugs here and down here and what you will get then is you should be able to see light in these passageways shine a light through them. If you can't, you are clogged way beyond recognition. I've already drilled these out and cleaned them, so I'm going to clean the next set. As usual when dealing with old cars, there was a screw that was stuck to hold the float in place. So I got a bit for a screwdriver that is, has a nice wide flat head there, put it in here, and I was able to break it loose using this. Okay. Personally, I like to put the screw back in place so I don't lose it. So in it goes. Then I'll take out the float. <laughs> oh, wait. Of course it's stuck. And I managed to not do too much damage to, to the screw head here. Next thing I do is to remove the main jet, the idle jet, which I've already removed from here. I'll remove the main jet, 10 millimeter. Comes right on out. The air jet and the emulsifier here. I'm going to just take a wire and stick it down in here, turn it sideways, pull that out. Should come out easily unless there's a lot of corrosion in there. Next I'm going to remove the lead plugs to these hidden passageways. There's one here, just off to the side of the emulsion tube, parallel going down, and one down here, which isn't seen very easily with this, right there. And I'm using a 1 16th drill bit to start with. This is much smaller than the, the actual lead plug. Try to get it close to centered if you can. And the lead plug is obviously soft compared to the other metal. Drills pretty easily. Okay. All right, I'm through it. Now you want to go to the next side up. I think will be let's go with five sixty fourths.
3.30 seconds. Obviously, I'm going to want to clean up all these lead pieces. Okay, so that's 764, and you can see the rest of the plug came out nicely and cleanly. Now we'll do the same on the lower one. The lower one is here. So we're going to do the same thing. on an extra long drill bit, 1 16th inch, for checking these passageways. Now, this guy, put it in there, I'm not getting it to slide all the way through, and when I go down here, it wants to get stuck. So, that tells me there's a lot of corrosion down in there, so I'm going to drill those out very lightly. Okay, I can feel the, the hard metal back there. See all the crud that falls out of there. About an extra long five sixty fourths for the same purpose. This is bigger than these passages were originally, but the critical thing is the jets. These should flow fuel, you know, limited by the jets. So I'm not too worried about it being slightly bigger than it was before, but I definitely want to clean out all that crud that was in there.
Here's the light test. So you can see the light in there. One more tip for cleaning these things out. Um, the air, there's a little air correction right here. And you can check to see if your passageway is clear down to here by just pushing a wire through. Chances are a lot lower that that one's going to be clogged than those ones that are down below the float bowl. But you can check each of these by just shoving the wire through there. If it is clogged, then you're going to need to take out one of these plugs and do the same thing. Um, essentially pull that plug out there, drill through here so it connects up with this. And you might have to take those out, but hopefully you don't gone through the drilling process, cleaning this uh, passageway out. So now we can put this thing down through here and we can look down in this hole and, well, let's see. So we've cleaned out the ports. Now I'm going to fill the holes with lead balls. This hole is now open. I have these little lead pellets that came from Quadrajet parts. These are 3 16 seem to fit pretty well. This is a 7 30 seconds punch. flattening out as I go in there. So the lead ball is flattening out nicely and actually pinching off the edges as I punch it. And so now I can just grab this, take, take off these little bits. Oops, seems to be peeling up. I don't want that. And there we go, that little thing peels right off. Comes out, and then we'll go to a smaller punch to make it fit in the hole nicely. This is a 5 30 seconds punch. And there you go. A nicely. Oops, let's see if I can get the shadow out of the way here. A little bit of cleanup, and that'll look really nice.
on these top plugs, there's just a little bit of leftover of the plug sort of uh, coming out to the side and I want to flatten that out and a razor knife does the job nicely. And of course we want to blow all that out with uh, compressed air, clean it out again <clears throat> before putting it all back together. Adventures in Engineering. Ah! <laughs>